everybody, welcome back, it's good to see you. Uh, today we're gonna do another Gallagher Brothers song, but this time Noel. So we did Liam Gallagher last time with one of us, we're gonna do If I Had a Gun by Noel. So keeping it fair, so there's no feuding that one got more attention than the other. I love both of them, almost equally the same. I do prefer Noel's songwriting uh, and guitar playing. He's had a huge influence on me, but I love Liam's vocals in his song. So they both have equal place in my heart. All right, so let's do uh, If I Had a Gun. You're going to cape on a second fret. And uh, I'm going to refer to all the chords as if they're just the regular patterns. So like G, it's regular G, but technically in theory you're playing an A because it's a capo, but we don't have to worry about that. All right, so the intro is a G. G to an A7 sus4, which I'm playing the G with my ring finger, little finger on the B and E, that third fret. So I take them off and I put my index finger on the second fret of the D string. And I play the bottom five strings. That's an A7 sus4, and just keep those fingers there. And then it goes to an E minor seven. You just take these two fingers and put them on the second fret of the A and the D. So those little fingers down here. Never move, they stay on that third fret of the B and E, so you got G. A7 sus4 to the E minor 7. That's the intro. And what it does in the verse one is that G to an E minor 7, so it's if I had a gun, I'd shoot a hole into the sun, so you got an E minor 7. The G and love would burn this city. The A7 sus4 down for you, E minor seven, and you play E minor seven this way or this way, whichever is easier for you. I'm not gonna break down how to play every individual chord because if you're not sure how to play certain chords yet, I'll show you. Like I said, some of the unique ones, but the basic ones, G, C. Um, you should know how to play those. If you're still learning those chords, this might be a difficult song. All right, so for the verses, that's. It's G to E minor, and then G to A7 to E minor. So you've got, if I had a gun, I'd shoot a hole into the sun on E minor, and then back to G, love would burn the city. A7 sus4 for you, down to E minor 7. Does the same thing again. If I had the time, I'd stop the world and make you mine. Every day would stay the same with you. G. Uh, G A7 E minor 7 G uh, A7 so it's for uh, uh. And he does it twice after the first verse and then you go to the second verse same as the first that give you back a dream show you what it might have been That's your verse and that little interlude intro. Pretty straightforward. You got G, E minor seven, and then G, A seven for the second part of that. So it's G, E minor seven, G, A seven, so that's four to the E minor. And it just repeats again in the verse. So it's two times. The chorus goes to a C I nine. Excuse me if I spoke to, to a G. My eyes have always back to C again, A nine. Followed you around the room and E minor seven. Cause you're the only back to the C I nine. God that I will ever need back to the G. So the chorus is, I'll play without the words and everything. It's C high to a G. Then you do a C high nine again. To the E minor seven. And a C high nine for a third time. To a G. And E minor. C. And then that intro again. Seven sus four. And this time we do it four times. 
then it goes right after those four times back to the chorus again. Uh, but this chorus is a little different at the ending. It changes because it's going to kind of shift. It's not change the keys, but you're going to hear it shift, and it's going to change the progression for the rest of itself. The second chorus is C A nine, like the first one, to a G. C A nine again. E minor seven, so it's still the same. C A nine again to a G, so it's still the same. We're gonna go to that A minor to a C, and then it's gonna drop to a G for a C D. So at the end of that, when you got a C, then it's gonna drop to a G and then a D, which is different than the first chorus. So it's for uh, waiting for the moment. And this interludes. Now, so now this time it's A minor to a C to a G to a D. It does that four times, and then the new chorus, this third chorus, is going to be that "Let Me Fly to the Moon." It's in, it starts with A minor this time, so it's completely different. So it's. C, G, and then D sus2, my eyes have all, so you got A minor, let me fly you to the moon, my eyes have always followed you around the room, cause you're the only God that I will ever need. Alright, so what we're doing is the same as that interlude, it's just A minor, C, Sus two, A minor, C, G, D sus two, A minor, C, G, D sus two. Now you're gonna wait and fill the bow on the A minor to C. Find me, and then you go back to your original and do that. G A seven, E minor seven. Outro the end is that if I had a gun with G, B minor seven, holding to the sun, love would burn the city down for you. So that G, E minor seven, G, A seven, so four, E minor, same as the first verses. So it takes you through the verse, verse, chorus with the normal stuff, the interlude, a second chorus which at the end tails and kind of it doesn't change key, it just takes you to a different um, tonal kind of instead of focusing around, focusing around a G, E minor it goes around the A, C part of it it almost does sort of change to the key of from G to E minor relative those that key to the key of C A minor um, feeling so it does kind of feel like tonal modulates into that and it comes back um, but all the chords are still in the key of G, the A minor, the D, and it does the D sus two to keep it kind of vague. So it leaves you feeling like you've you've changed keys, even though you really haven't. But it's it's a cool little trick. And those vocal melodies, Noel is always great melody writer. That you know that I can't sing with that. It's really nice. And then, like I said, that where he does the. Uh, Speak to so my eyes have always followed you around the room. Cause you're all the only God that I will ever need. I'm holding on and waiting for the moment. My heart's be unbroken by the sea. can't sing it but those oh it gives you goosebumps when you listen to uh the recording of it it's just a phenomenal melody over those and the way it just changes so a huge fan of the song 
But uh, another little theory tip for you theory folks is when you're doing the chorus and like that, um, the C, and you're going C to G, it always starts on the C, it's like. Does it again, you could have went to a G again. It goes to E minor seven. The E minor is um, the, E minor sevens, you know, E minor is relative to the G. It, you can substitute those chords and they do the same job, but it gives you a different feeling. Same way with the second chord, that third chord is actually in the A minor. Um, the A and the C, the relatives, it really works nicely together. So it's a talented songwriter. I've always loved Noel's songwriting. So I hope this breakdown has really helped you. Um, what we'll do actually, we'll just kind of do a quick little recap of it. So we're all on the same page and uh, let's run through it and then we'll be good to go. So you got your intro. G, A7, sus4, E minor, G, A7, sus4, E minor 7. And your, chord, your verses are G, E minor 7. That's the whole song. So we just actually played through the whole song at the end there. Uh, very cool song. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.